Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Life of Business Analyst. Today I'm gonna show you how to import the data from an Excel workbook to the Power BI and create a basic table. This, is, this video is particularly meant for beginners who have just started with Power BI and start to do some basic importing and visualization using Power BI. I have an Excel workbook, so I have created two sheets in it. One has the quantity sold and the other one has a selling price. So a vendor sells all these items in a day. And also you have the selling price in a different sheet. So now what I'm gonna do is like import this Excel into Power BI and then create a table out of it and show you basic formatting. So I have the Power BI app open here. So under the home button, you have the option of get data. So let me click on this, get data. So since my source is Excel, I'm gonna select Excel. So this is the file, let me open. Okay, so you have the tables here, the quantity sold. When you click on this, you can see the preview out here. And also when you click on sales price, you can also see the sale quantity, uh, the item and the selling price. So I need these two tables. So let me check these two boxes and click on load. It'll take a while to load. Okay, so the tables are loaded. So on the right, you can see that under the fields, you can see the tables which you have loaded. When you click on this expand option, you can see the columns, the item and quantity. When you again click on this sales price, you have the item and also the selling price. So since you, you have the two, ta two tables here, it's required to establish the relationship between these two tables. But in, in our case, the item is common across these two tables so you have item here and also you have the item so when you click on the on the left on the left you have three options one is like report another one is data view and on the relationship so i'm going to click on the third one so you can see the relationship is auto established because the column names are same and the power bi automatically detects the relationship between these two tables. So let me go back to the report view here. So let, let me create some, uh, let me give some name to this particular view. So let me bring it to the center. Let me call it as sales revenue. So you have the option to change the colors. So let me increase the font size to somewhere around 40 and change the color to something brighter. So let me use this one and I can expand this. You can see I want to align it to the center. on this format format align to the center okay center okay okay this is my heading so probably you can create some border if you need but I'm not going to spend too much time on the cosmetics. Rather, I'll create the tables now. 
So under the visualization pane, you have uh, various options. So I'm not going to touch all these options, but just focus on that to creating the tables. So I will select this button here, the tables. So you can see a new object appeared in my report. So what I'm going to want, uh, want to add here is like the item. So let me drag and drag and drop the items. And also I want to see the quantity. Okay. And also I want to see the selling price. Okay. So you can see items, quantity and price in the table. So I don't want to see the totals here. So let me go to the properties and disable the totals. Okay. So this is the basic table. So I want to add a calculated measure. So I want to find the sales revenue. So the formula is quantity multiplied by price. So I get the sales revenue. I'm going to select the new measure under the home button here. Select on new measure. Okay, you can see a new measure has been added here. I'm going to rename this as sales revenue is equal to sum of its quantity, quantity sold multiplied by sum of the selling price you have it here under the sales price and click enter. So you can see the, it has been renamed to sales revenue. I'm going to drag and drop this here, sales revenue. You can see the sales revenue has been added. So probably you can, you can do some cosmetic changes here. So you, you need to select the object and then go to the format option here. Click on this. And then you have various options to change the table style into something like bold header. And also you have, uh, you can change your column color, uh, header font colors. You, you have the option to change your font color of these values here. And uh, yeah, by default it's set to gray or black. So you can change your background color. You have all these cosmetic things which you can do. Also you can change your field properties. For example, uh, your sales revenue, it's, it's uh, I want to show, uh, show it to two decimal place. So what I can do is click expand the field formatting and then select sales revenue and then value decimal. So let me make it as one decimal. So you can see it changed to one decimal point. So I'm not going to do anything. So I'll leave it as it is. And then you have the option to enable the total or disable. Also the field formattings. So this is how you, it's, it's purely for a beginners who just started with Power BI and just to get some hands-on experience in importing the data from an Excel and creating some basic visualization. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to create a pivot or a matrix in, this, in a similar fashion and then apply some slicers, all those things. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.